In this video, I'm going to show you four of the best foods that I could find for longevity. So helping you to extend your life, but also helping you to improve your health. So improving things like focus, energy, and your mental and physical performance. Now, the crazy thing is, is that all of these foods are very common. So they're probably sitting in your kitchen right now. And interestingly, all four foods have three things in common that I think you can apply and look for in other foods to get similar benefits. So make sure you stick to the end to find out what these three things are. Let's get straight into it. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. And just before I go through these four foods, I do want to say that, of course, no single food alone will guarantee extending your life or even maximizing your health. Because, for example, if you were to take these foods, but you're having McDonald's for every other meal, then, of course, you're not going to live that long and you're not going to be that healthy. And that's just because health is multifaceted. We've got different aspects of health that we have to look at. So there isn't going to be one magic cure. However, if you were to add these foods into your diet, then you are going to be able to upgrade your health and bring you closer to a longer and better life. Now, the fourth one I found is the most significant. So make sure you stick around for that one. But going straight into the first one, this one has been shown to lower your risk of cardiovascular disease by 19% cancer by 17% and neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's by 29% and respiratory diseases by 18% and it has a reduction in all-cause mortality between 8 and 34% and that is olive oil. I think that olive oil has gained more attention in recent years but just before I go for the reasons why this is such a big one let me show you a clip from Brian Johnson who is a guy that is spending millions on trying to live forever. And so if anyone knows anything about longevity and how this guy does, so check out what he has to say about olive oil. What things can I do in my life that are easy and actionable and have a high impact? Extra virgin olive oil is very close to number one. And so for example, there's a study where people lost 5.2 pounds taking Evo for nine weeks. It reduces your oxidized LDL levels. These are the, this is the bad thing in your body that's causing damage by 80% post a mill. So I have a tablespoon with every single mill. It's, yeah, it's, it's like the super of superfoods. Now, olive oil is high in monounsaturated fat. And the fat is very, very important for your body. It's nutritionally rich and it's very, very important, particularly for your brain. Most of your brain is made out of fat. And they've done studies where they've compared high and low fat diets and found that those on a higher fat diet, of course, they, it does need to be healthy fats from trans, they had better memory, better cognition than those that were on a low fat diet. Olive oil is also very high in polyphenols. Now, this is a really big one and actually congruent for all, all four of these foods that I'm going to go through. This is one of the things that, that all foods have in common that I'm going to go through today. And polyphenols are basic chemicals that are only found in plants that help plants to go through stressful environments. If they are growing in stressful environments, then they help them to be strong. It also gives them the rich color, but for us, when we consume these chemicals, it is an antioxidant, so it helps to reduce cell damage from the free radicals that are going around in our bodies. And this is one of the reasons why we think that it can contribute or help with health and longevity. Now, not all olive oil is that great. Some of the things you do want to look for is number one, make sure it's cold pressed. Number two, that is extra virgin. Number three, it needs to be found in a dark bottle and the richer the color in the oil, normally the more nutrition is in it and the more polyphenols are in it. The high polyphenol content, it tends to be what gives it its color. And of course, if it's organic, then that's even better. Now, just before we go through number two, if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, then don't forget to do so. If you want to see more videos like this one and better videos as we go into the future. Number two, this is one that is exceptionally high in fat. So monounsaturated fat again. And yet it's actually been shown to reduce your cholesterol. It's high in magnesium and fiber, and it contains more potassium than a banana. Have you guessed it? It's avocado. Avocado is becoming increasingly popular 
in our society as well. And research has shown that it can reduce your mortality around 11% if you're eating it regularly. And again, high in polyphenols, so an antioxidant that can help reduce cell damage in your body. Now, number three is one that I think is definitely going to please majority of you watching this. This one is high in B vitamins as well as magnesium and potassium. And we consume it in a drink rather than a food. I'm not sure if you want to necessarily eat this one. It's estimated about two and a half billion cups of this is drank every single day. Haven't guessed it already. It is coffee. Coffee in moderation, so um, containing caffeine between two to 300 milligrams per day has been shown to reduce things like heart disease and diabetes, but I do stress in moderation because if it's taken in excess, it can actually have a negative impact on things like heart disease. This one is interesting because the type of coffee and how you make the coffee really make the difference in the mortality rates in which they found in the research. So if you have it fresh and ground and it's a good quality coffee, this can reduce your mortality as high as 27% if you're taking it regularly. But if you're taking it in the instant form, interestingly, it still reduces mortality, but this one only around 11%. So there's quite a big difference between instant and fresh. You do want to make sure it's fresh. And again, this one is high in polyphenols. So it helps to clear those free radicals to reduce cell damage now, the important thing here with coffee is you want to make sure it is fresh, that they're good quality beans. If you can get it organic, again, that's that's even better. Make sure that it's not over roasted. If it's a dark and over roasted coffee, then it tends to have less nutrition, but particularly less of the polyphenols. Now, one coffee that I literally just a few days ago came across that I'm, I'm yet to try, so I can't tell you how good or the taste it is, but one in regards to the health that looks really, really promising is a coffee from a company called Exhale Coffee. I'll put a link in the description. I'm about to receive a packet myself so I can try it. And I'm gonna let you know in a future video what that is like and how much I can recommend it. However, this is an organic coffee company. They're obsessed with the health and the sustainability. And they are concentrating on making sure that their beans are high in the polyphenols so they don't over roast their beans. So. I would highly suggest check this out and at the time of recording this they are offering a free bag uh, i don't know how long that's going to last for but um do check them out because they do look like a good coffee just before i go through the, the last and the fourth one comment below which one of these foods has surprised you the most and why so number four this one is the most significant at around 45 to 50 percent reduction in all cause mortality this one is also high in magnesium and potassium but it's also high in copper and fiber. And again, these polyphenols are creating this antioxidative effect in the body, and that is dark chocolate. Dark chocolate has particularly been shown to reduce cardiovascular problems. It's been shown to reduce um, LDL, so the bad cholesterol and the triglycerides. It's been shown to reduce your blood pressure, your risk of clotting, and improving your blood circulation. Now, the important thing with dark chocolate is that you need to make sure it's got a good amount of cocao. So I would suggest at least 70%, 80, 85 is gonna be even better. I've just got myself a 100% dark chocolate that I'm yet to try, but up until now, I've been having 85% chocolate, which I really enjoy and has, at that level, really good benefit. Because you've got to remember it's the cacao bean in the chocolate that gives you these benefits. With the dairy milk, uh, the milk chocolates generally are going to have the milk and the sugar surrounding it, which then don't give you the same type of effects. You don't really want to be consuming too much sugar with the chocolate. So as I promised, there are three things in which they have in common. I'm sure you probably guess at least one of them, if not two. Third one I haven't yet mentioned. So let me go through the first two. The first one is that all of these have an ability and a strong ability to improve cardiovascular health. This is interesting because cardiovascular health is the number one killer in the world. And so if we can reduce cardiovascular health, of course, we're gonna have quite a big impact on overall mortality. The second one is the polyphenols, so the antioxidants. They seem to have uh, play a big role in regards to longevity and health. And the third one is the interesting one because all of these foods are high in oleic acid. This is a fatty acid. It's a monounsaturated fatty acid. And it's also known as omega-9. You may have heard of omega-3 and omega-6. 
but omega-9 is also super important. The reason why this is so unique is because oleic acid is being shown to activate the longevity gene in us. And it's been shown to be around 100 times more effective than another chemical that's been shown to activate the longevity gene called resveratrol, 100 times more effective. And it's been shown to have a particular benefit with improving your cardiovascular health again, as well as your brain. Now, interestingly, fasting also activates oleic acid because it's activated when we uh, don't eat. So if you want to find out more about fasting, I highly recommend that you check out my video just here that I've done on fasting to see how you can get more of these effects and how to do it best. But just before you head over there, don't forget to head down into the description where you can get 10% of Vivo Barefoot Minimal Shoes that I personally wear every single day, 10% of Athenase, a, a health food that's specifically formulated for men, and 15% of a natural deodorant that I personally use every day. So I will either see you on this video or on my next one, so don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.